Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tuesday, the 13th of September, 2022, of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, is the Memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Thou art never secure in this life, but as long as thou livest, spiritual weapons are always necessary for thee. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, your healing presence brings life and restores us to wholeness of mind, body, and spirit. Speak your word to me and give me renewed hope, strength, and courage to follow you in the midst of life's sorrows and joys. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word John was born in Antioch in 349, where he served 11 years as a priest before he was raised to the Episcopate in Constantinople, a center of wealth, power, and political intrigue. John preached Christ to rich and poor alike after he censored the Empress Eudoxia for scandalous public behavior he was banished to Armenia. From exile he wrote letters of comfort to his friends. All things will certainly turn out, whether in this life or the life to come. In every circumstance, yield to the incomprehensibility of God's providence. John died in exile in 407. In 1568 he was declared a doctor of the church. The Epistle Now you are Christ's body and individually parts of it. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 12. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 100 Responsorial We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, 
the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia A great prophet has arisen in our midst and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Young man, I tell you, arise. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 7, verse 11. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. The body is not a single part, but many. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14. What are you? An arm? A leg? Maybe a blood cell? When we hear St. Paul tell us that each of us is a separate part of the body of Christ, we may think right away about the people who do big things in our parish. They are the beating heart of our community, the arms and legs and brains who do most of the work. But then, when we look at our own contribution, we can begin to feel as if our role is too small even to mention, let alone celebrate. The truth is, we all play an essential part. What would an arm or a leg be without the blood cells or the nerve cells that keep it functioning? What good is a heart if it doesn't receive oxygen? Every person in your parish is a vital part of the body of Christ. Your parish needs every one of them, including you, to become the light to your community that God wants it to be. Your role in the body of Christ doesn't have to be big to be powerful. Just think of those blood cells. Nobody notices every drop of blood that courses through their veins, but that doesn't mean they're insignificant. Each cell brings much needed oxygen to the entire body, just as your prayers of intercession help keep your pastor attuned to the breath of the Spirit. Or think about your toes. They help keep you balanced as you stand or walk just as every catechist helps the entire parish stand firm in Christ and move forward on the path of holiness. 
the glue that holds the body of Christ together, of course, is the Holy Spirit. He is the one who makes the arm strong, who makes the blood pure, who keeps the ligaments flexible, and who moves the feet to run the race. If each of us were to invite that spirit into everything that we do for the Lord and His people, that is, into every area of our lives, then this body would literally shine with the glory of God. The work of every member would add to a current grace that would flow out to the whole world. May each member of the body of Christ drink of one spirit today. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13 Come, Holy Spirit, and fill every member of the body of Christ today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.